Well, any of you guys, uh, have you checked out this case, Marilla? This is Case and Sons. Uh, says Marilla, M A R I L L A, S 35 V N. Uh, red aluminum. You can get it in blue as well as red. But it's S 35 V N. It's a flipper, it's a frame lock. It's not exactly super drop shutty. And we will take it apart. It's uh, This one, of course, is red, but, I mean, they're aluminum body with a G10 inlay on the front. Right off the bat, you know, I would like it to have had an inlay on the back and maybe more like a bolster lock situation here. This really kind of freaks me out. That is a big old separation, isn't it, for a frame lock? I'm looking around to see if i got another frame lock hanging out here for some reason, but it just seems like uh, that's wide. That's a big cutaway, isn't it? Even you can see the over-travel stop here. Whew. Yeah, wow, we Hardened steel insert. Doesn't look like a ceramic detent ball, just a regular one, but that's okay. You know, this goes, I got mine at White Mountain Knives for 135 bucks minus 10% because LTK is your discount code, so that'd be $13.50 off, okay? And uh, here's the description, basically uh, 3.4 inch blade, four, uh, 4 and 3 quarter closed and stonewashed finish and what's it got? uh taper grind drop point um frame lock left or right hand 3.6 3.6 ounces made in the usa so you know it's under 100 with uh, with the discount and everything it's 100 under 130 dollars and you're getting s35 vn is that a great deal i don't know yeah, 3.5 ounces at 99 grams. Flicks right open. Um, what? Let's see if it cuts something. Oh, that's okay. Mm, not, not bad. Uh, doesn't really fly through the paper. It's got a little bit more uh, kind of a rough looking you know, coarse type of edge on it. And it kind of feels like it. I'm, you know, I'm feeling that when it goes through the paper. So not exactly like a lot of my cold steel knives and stuff like that just kind of melt right through the paper really quickly. Um, this, not so much. So I guess, you know, you could work on this and uh, make it a little bit, uh, a little bit nicer, hone it up, and make it work better for you that way. Um, yeah, interesting drop point. I I got it because I thought it was interesting that Case was doing this. Um, left and right hand pocket clip, you know, deep carry here. Not a real long pocket clip and kind of sticks like that. And uh, it would have been nice had it kind of laid down a little bit at the end, but, and maybe even been a little bit longer. Although, I don't know. Uh, that, yeah, I, I, you know, this would have been really nice to see as a liner lock, but uh, it wasn't. So, frame lock, uh, I don't know. And Inlay, both sides would have been nice. Pretty light. Let's grab, hold on. Let me grab my tape on here. So, at three and a half, three point four. 3.4. Okay, over here at the closest part. And, you know, that's 86 millimeters, something like that. And, up, 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 up. come on. Stay with me there, buddy. Okay, and a little over eight, eight and a sixteenth at about 20, or 20 and a half centimeters. So not quite as long as, you know, a paramilitary two. A little bit, 
under that size. But about the same weight, this is 3.8, 3.9, 3.5, so a little lighter, a little less expensive than, the, than that particular paramilitary tube. There's your uh, standoffs here. And I don't know what they are, if that's aluminum or what. I guess we'll know a little bit more when we disassemble it because then I'll test it for magnetism and it wouldn't be titanium at best. It's aluminum, okay? But, uh, yeah, ergos are good and I can get all my fingers on there, so that's good, okay? Um, yeah, I mean... It's got jimping on top of the blade here. It's got a little cutaway here at the end so you can hone it, sharpen it, that kind of thing. You got good purchase on there. Reverse grip feels good. Uh, there's my balance point. Um, there's definitely a height differential here, so it's easy to disengage that. It just doesn't drop all that well, and it's probably because... Probably because it doesn't have bearings, but we'll know more when we get it apart. Um, got a little lanyard hole. It's not tubed because it doesn't have a backspacer. And check it out. Fit and finish seem okay. I mean, there's no sharp edges or gotchas on here necessarily, but... I'm not really in love with this thing. I think that's a little bit more height differential than I'd want. So, mm, yeah. I'd like it to be a little bit more fidget friendly in that regard. But um, here's your lockup. That's pretty aggressive. That's 60% right there. And boy, that hardened steel piece really sticks out prominently, doesn't it? That's, yeah, that's pretty crazy. Don't know what to say about that. That's different than I've seen on anything else. And of course, no particular weight relieving on the inside of the scales. Of course, they obviously had to lay this in. And it's raised above the level of the actual scale there so there's that and overall 13.2 millimeters at 0.52 of an inch and your blade is 0.14 which is 3.7 millimeter thick blade stock so there's that uh it's centered up um no blade player lock rock so there's that Here's the box that comes in, like this. Case Collectors Club, join today. Okay. American made, knife of the year. Winner 2021 Blade Magazine, knife of the year. Wow. I guess it doesn't take much to be knife of the year. Well, I don't know. I'm. I'm just thinking, eh, I, don't, I don't think I would have been on that committee calling it Knife of the Year exactly. This is one I think pretty much, oh, let's put this down here. Let's throw all my shards away. Um, eh. I, first of all, yeah, I mean, this liner lock. Second of all, make it more fidget friendly. Third of all, pocket clip redesign. Deep carry is fine, but... Um, yeah, a bit of a redesign there. Uh, maybe put a backspacer in that might match the the handles and kind of make it a little bit more showy in that regard. Uh, drop shutty and uh, that kind of thing, but definitely put the inlay on both sides because this is nice and grippy. In fact, this is like low-grade sandpaper. This is... Woo, I mean, this will grate the cheese. It really will. That's that's aggressive, okay? Uh, but, you know, you don't have it on this side. So, mm, that, that kind of stuff kind of drives me crazy. I like a little bit more symmetry in the design than that. And this, this gap here, 
Ooh. And then this huge gap out here with this hardened steel insert. And boy, that's traveled a long way across already. That's, you could argue that's 75% lock up on that. That's, that's a bunch. Let me see what we got as far as if we can take this thing apart, take a look at it. Okay. Do we have, I mean, am I seeing a thread locker in there? Not, well, I don't know. It just kind of had a funny feel coming out. Uh, we got number eights here. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh. I guess it's all going to come just like that. Come here. Crap. Now, hold on. Hold on. Let's do this first. Okay, yeah, bearings, just regular stuff. I mean, kind of see these on, you know, knives that are, you know, $25, whatever. It's, not, I mean, it's nothing special. Although, you know, I mean, how many different grades of bearings you got that are necessarily super high end regardless. But, uh, and you got a steel washer in here. And then you've got, okay, so this is how we're going to keep that, that pivot from spinning. We got a little cutaway and a little shelf built in here, so it'll, it'll sit there and lock down on that. And, uh, when you get it, or, there you go, now, now it's in. Okay, so that's what you're doing there. Okay, and then your stop pin is pretty stout kick this around let's get this over here okay we got our one our screws okay so mm, 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 mm. let me see if i can get one of these busted loose just so i can test this right here oh okay there's steel there's steel okay I was just wondering, you know, are, are they steel? Are they aluminum? They're steel, so it's amazing. I mean, but they add to the weight, uh, but it's only three and a half, you know, ounces regardless. So it's not like it's that heavy. But, uh, okay. Okay. Steel. Now, now if we can ever get our act together here and... Let's pop this down. Okay, now we got it down. Come here. Um, put this over here. All right. Oh, let's uh, let's put our stop back in here and let's put another set of bearings on here and let's uh oop, ch -ch -ch -ch. come on okay and throw this on and nothing complicated about disassembly reassembly okay yep. Now let's try and make sure we don't have this cross-threaded or anything. Okay. Okay. And uh, these are number eights out here, so this is good. Let's see if that pivot should respond better. I mean, um, I you know, it really acted like it was on, uh, 
it was on washers and it's not uh it's on bearings Woo! seemed odd to me okay what do we got we're centered now did i honk down on it too hard okay now there's going to be people going oh no mine's drop shutty and you know what maybe maybe it ought to be maybe their good old usa assembly crew just gave it the yank and crank on the pivot and made it because you can do that i mean you can get her so tight okay now that's better that's better it's it is we got a delayed response okay drop okay it's really strange okay we got it let's get up closer okay now we dropped okay now trying to get the hang of this thing okay that's more like it that's more like it that's reasonable yeah and and it's not playing so uh there's no play that's much better now it's moved up in the in the knife of the year category with the uh, fidget factor definitely improved isn't it yeah that's more like it wow this baby was yanked and cranked so i guess if you get one um you might want to go ahead and uh get your little torques out if it's not dropping for you and back that off a little bit yeah it's still centered up it's good okay eating my words now but yeah i mean uh, a lot of different things i would have preferred on this and You'd think you could put a ceramic, you know, set of ceramic bearings in there for the extra three pennies it cost you just for what the hay, you know. And maybe, to me, it would have been nice. I think this is some ugly looking standoffs. I mean, you could come up with better looking standoffs than that. Uh, steel or just, you know, hell, put an aluminum backspacer on there pocket clip not feeling that exactly either and put inlay on both sides and then maybe you can start approaching i'm going is this more of a political thing or or an aesthetic thing that it makes it a knife of the year um good ergos and i like the design no question about it. like the design good ergos it's lightweight it's a super steel it's usa made it's all that reversible pocket clip, but there's just a bunch of different things I think they could have really improved on here. And with this design could have really hit the mark more on target than what I think it ended up. But I mean, I wanted to get it in my hands because I saw it and yes, I was intrigued with the design. So to hell with it. Uh, I'll leave you to it. I mean, disagree with me that's fine i mean we all get different tastes in knives so um but to me yeah i like case i used to have case knives all the time like 30 years ago you know and i, I and i like the trapper lock and then you know just oh, the coke bottle and on all kinds of the different knives that they come out with and all the different types of handle materials and things i, I just thought they were way cool and they are a cool knife um traditionally so, uh, this one, just not making it for me. Take care, my friends. Love them knives here. We do love them knives. See you guys. Stay sharp.